good morning to all in the last previous lecture we study about the inflorescence and types of inflorescence and today we are going to discuss on the flower it is another chapter before going to study of flower it is necessary to know that what is the definition of flower this is a simple definition of flower flower is highly condensed modified shoot for the purpose of sexual reproduction see flower is highly condensed modified shoot for the purpose of sexual reproduction this is the definition of flower flower is highly condensed or modified shoot it is a modified shoot and this modification is takes place for the purpose of sexual reproduction has the floral morphology is also called as a reproductive morphology there are two types of morphology vegetative morphology and reproductive morphology and the flower plays important role because it is a modified shoot and this modification is takes place for the purpose of sexual reproduction hence the definition of flower is that flower is highly condensed or modified shoot for the purpose of sexual reproduction now there are different parts of flower and now we are going to study on the parts of flower the flower having following parts the first part is pedicel second thalamus third one is calyx next one is corolla then androecium and last part is gynoecium these are the parts of flower pedicel thalamus calyx corolla androecium and gynoecium these are the parts of typical flowers now we study about the parts of typical flowers the first part is the pedicel the stalk of flower is called as a pedicel see this is the stalk the stalk of flower is called as a pedicel the length of pedicel is variable from plant to plant and species to species the length is variable and the flower having a stalk is called as a pediceled flower means the flower with pedicel is called as a pediceled flower while flower without pedicel is called as a sessile flowers now the second part is a thalamus see this is the thalamus it is a terminal condensed and enlarged portion of the floral axis it is a condensed terminal and enlarged portion of the floral axis see this is the thalamus thalamus is terminal condensed and enlarged portion of the floral axis the thalamus is called as a mother axis of the flower now the question is that why the thalamus is called as a mother axis of the flower because all the floral holes means calyx corolla androecium and gynoecium these are the floral holes and these all the floral holes are arise from the thalamus 
and hence the thalamus is called as a mother axis of the flower. The next part is the calyx. It is the first and outermost floral of the flower. It is the first and outermost floral hole of the flower. It is green in color. The calyx are generally green in color. And the smaller member of calyx is called as a sepal. The calyx is made up of sepals. The smaller member of calyx is called as a sepal. When the sepals are free, it is called as a polysepalous. And when sepals are fused, then that condition is called as a gamosepalous. Now, the calyx is called as a non-essential or accessory floral hole of the flower. Calyx is called as a non-essential or accessory floral hole because the calyx does not take part in the part of fertilization. Calyx does not take part in the fertilization. Hence, the calyx are called as a non-essential or accessory floral hole. The function of calyx is that the calyx are generally green in color. Hence, they perform the function of photosynthesis. The first function of calyx is that calyx perform the function of photosynthesis because calyx are green in color. And the second main function of the calyx is that the calyx use the protection to the inner floral hole like corolla, androsium and gynosium. The, the calyx use protection to the inner floral hole during the bird condition. Because in the bud condition, the calyx cover all the floral holes. Hence, calyx perform the function of protection to the inner floral holes. See, calyx is the outermost floral hole of the flower. It is the first and outermost floral hole of the flower. Calyx are generally green in color. The smaller member of calyx is called as a sepal. When sepals are free, it is called as a polysepalous. When sepals are fused, it is called as a gamosepalous. And the sepals and the calyx are called as a non-essential or accessory floral hole because calyx does not take part in the process of fertilization. Though the calyx are green in color, they perform the function of photosynthesis and calyx also gives protection to the inner floral holes during the bird condition. Now, fourth part is the corolla. The corolla is present in between calyx and androsium. The corolla is the second floral hole of the flower. Calyx is the first floral hole. Corolla is the second floral hole of the flower. And corolla is present in between calyx and androsium. The smaller member of corolla is called as a petal. The corolla are attractive in nature. The corolla is attractive and colorful in nature to attract the insects for the pollination while calyx are generally green in color. When the petals, the smaller member of corolla is called as a petal. When the petals are free, it is called as a polypetalus. While when the petals are fused, it is called as a gamopetalus. The corolla is also called as a non-essential or accessory floral hole because Corolla also does not take part in the process of fertilization. But Corolla plays an important role in the process of pollination because Corolla are attractive and colorful in nature and hence they attract the insects. And because of that, the pollination is takes place. Hence, the main function of Corolla is that to attract the insects for the pollination. Then androsia. Androsium is third floral hole of the flower. And androsium is present. This is the androsium. The androsium is present in between corolla and gynosium. The smaller member of androsium is called as a stamen. If it is single, it is called as a stamen. See, this is a stamen. The stamen is made up of two parts. 
the apical sac like part is called as anther while the stalk of stamen is called as lamen and on the anther there are pollen grains are present see this is a stamen stamen is a third floor hole of the flower the endosteme is present in between corolla and gynoecium the smaller member of endosteme is called as stamen stamen is made up of two main parts the apical bag like structure is called as a anther while the stalk of stamen is called as a filament and on the anther there are many pollen grains are present and endosperm produce the male gametes the endosperm is called as a essential floral hole of the flower while calyx and corolla are called as a non essential floral hole it is called as a essential floral hole or necessary hole of the flower because it does it take parts in the process of fertilization because the endosperm produce the male gametes and the last part of the flower is that gynoecium see this is the gynoecium the gynoecium is also called as a pistil and the smaller member of gynoecium is called as a carpel the gynoecium is the innermost or central part of the flower see gynoecium is the innermost or central part of the flower the gynoecium is also called as a pistil and the smaller member of gynoecium is called as a carpel the gynoecium is made up of three parts the apical part is called as a stigma the stalk of gynoecium is called as a style and basal pulvinous part is called as a ovary ovary is a basal solen part of the flower gynoecium the gynoecium is made up of stigma style and ovary and the gynoecium produce the female gametes and hence the gynoecium take part in the process of fertilization and hence the gynoecium is also called as a essential or necessary floral hole of the flower and this is all about the typical parts of flower okay we study about the flower and typical parts of the flower flower is highly condensed modified shoot for the purpose of sexual reproduction and we also studied the typical parts of flower and the typical parts of flower shows the six part first pedicel thalamus calyx corolla endosperm and gynoecium this is all about the typical parts of flower okay got it thanks